Hi, I'm Doug Heileman, and I'd like to share with you some practices on how sellers can increase the value in a transaction by better management of environmental issues. In the transactional world, the effort typically falls to the buyer. Sellers often will cut costs in advance of a sale so they can improve their profits and look more attractive to a buyer. Often, that backfires. This is what sellers typically do and some best practices on what they should do in the context of a transaction. In managing environmental matters, the traditional approach is to focus on contaminated sites, on the amount booked into a reserve, and on compliance with regulations. In practice, there are many other issues related to environmental management that come into play for a transaction. A company has to be in compliance with contracts, with bid specifications, customer specifications, industry standards. A buyer may consider a seller's compliance with goals, voluntary standards, the way they gather and manage their data, and how environmental attributes are reported, marketed, and enhanced value. These factors can influence valuation how a buyer evaluates the business and how they plan for what's next. One of my fundamental premises on a transaction is that no buyer makes a purchase with the intention of leaving everything exactly the same. And a corollary to that is that if there is uncertainty, the seller will lose. So to get value out of a sale, it's really best to prepare the asset for sale in every way possible. I'd like to share a case study on one example on how that worked. A facility for sale had an environmental permit that's a 10-year permit and it was going to expire in a year and a half. Agencies love to insert new provisions into a permit when it comes time for renewal and the agency was no exception. They had been doing just that for neighboring facilities. This posed a problem to potential buyers because they couldn't be sure they could continue operations, let alone proceed with their plans for expansion. I worked with the company to open the permit early and to go to the agency to seek renewal. The company was able to come up with new permit provisions that were feasible and that they could show the buyer they could meet on a timely basis. There was a new permit issue with a 10-year horizon and the buyer was able to look at that with no uncertainties and proceed with the deal as planned. As a result, the seller got millions of dollars more out of the transaction even that they had anticipated. That's a good example that when a seller prepares an asset for sale, there are fewer uncertainties. It helps the position the buyer for success. The transaction goes faster and you get greater value for the asset.